Everybody, my name is Rex Milius. Uh, welcome back to Zealonka Farming Simulator 22. Just verifying I'm getting all the potatoes. This is our big old potato field. Almost done. Almost done. You saw the montage before this. You can see what I'm doing with these extra potatoes. Uh, we're going to go take a look at our potato shed, which is right over there. Uh, the kind of the finished deal. I don't know that that's the best solution for storing potatoes, but... I gotta be honest, once we get the potato refinery, the potato factory over there, we're not gonna have to store many potatoes at all because they'll just be boom, dumped right in there pretty much. We'll have to store some for the pigs and things like that. But uh, yeah, you can probably saw in the uh, montage that I decided that all these extra potatoes I'm gonna drop off. We're gonna play, play the Erlengrat train game. So I'm just dropping them off over there considering the rental of the train as a part of the fee for storing them until we get some peak prices on potatoes. I was thinking about just selling them off, but then I'm like, yeah, you know what? I think we need to play the train game. We tried to play that with the wheat, but then we ended up getting the Lavish Lewis Levigator beforehand. I think there's a very, very small chance that we're going to be able to get the... The potato refinery, I like call it the refinery, whatever, uh, before uh, before it's time to sell these potatoes peak price. So we're not going to be able to do the, the refinery right away because we're going to go piggies. We're going piggies. The decision's definitely been made. We've already got the the slurry tanker, and we've got, oh, is this going to work? Okay, i got to go like this. Get over there. Oh, it's going to barely fit in there, maybe. Go, go, go. Nope, all the way around. As I was saying, we've already got the slurry tanker and the manure spreader, so we're going piggies for sure. So this is all going to be sold off for profit once we get to peak potato prices, which are in, of course, January. Everything right there. Everything always right there, pretty much. So that's the plan with this. I'm going to let's finish up this field, and we got a lot to do today. Oh, my goodness. August, uh, let's turn the UI on uh, so you can see what's going on. Um, I'm on August 2nd. It's already 154. I got, you can see how much money I have. In fact, uh, you can see how much money I have there. Now look, there you go. Almost $52,000. And let's do this and uh, repay everything. So we're back down. Okay, now we got $26,000. Red, red beat contracts were the main catalyst of all that cash. Uh, it had the, the that crate, uh, the, the crate harvester, that thing is a gold mine. Just making money off of buying and selling the crates. It's kind of cheaty, but hey, that's what's available in the contract. Um, what I was saying then is uh, we still have canola and the sorghum to harvest over there. So we got to get that in this episode. Uh, and then... I'm get, Oh, yeah, no, I got a lot there still to get. That's fine. I'll go back around. Yeah, so we got all that to harvest, and then we got to prep the fields. I want barley in this field. I think I'm skipping the oilseed radish. We got to plant the barley uh, next month already. So barley right here. Uh, so I'm going to just do that next month and just end up doing the fertilizer. I don't like to do it, but 
Uh, we just don't have time to oil seed radish as well. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan with this field, and then we'll figure out sorghum and canola field once uh, once those are finished up. So let's finish up the potatoes, and then we will move on to the next field to harvest. I gotta get those harvested up before the end of the day. <laughs> and I still have, I'm still talky talky. I have all these contracts still. Look at this. Look at all this money sitting on the table. I just don't have time to do it. I worked overnight the whole time. I worked through the night. And I still have so many contracts to do. Oh, this is a crazy month, crazy month. All right, all right. Let's zoom. Let's zoom to the next shot of me just finishing up the last little row here. Wow, does it feel good to be finishing up this potato field? It looks so good when it's harvested too. This is a really, really a good feeling. I love this. We're gonna make a lot of money off of these potatoes. This is gonna be the last load. I think I can, hopefully I can fit it in the last trailer there it's 91 percent full the, the tractor setup over there i think i should be able to fit it in there it should fit in fine um i am really really looking forward to selling these off uh it's gonna be a nice boost to the can i get all three am i getting all three i guess i am i guess i am all right i think it's gonna be quicker to just to pull this over to the trailers uh yeah and that's full the massey ferguson is a little underpowered let's pull up the pickup there we go uh, it's a little, yeah, never mind the sign. Don't worry about that. Oh, yep. Don't worry about that. It happens. It's okay. It's okay. Um, let's go drop this off. At, oh, am I getting close enough? Uh, shoot. Let's go. No. Okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Let's go drop this off at the train station. And call the potatoes done for the year. Well done, like, harvesting. We still have to get the train, rent the train, and get them sold off. In fact, I think the train actually is quicker if we go straight out of here. So let's meet you at the train station. Oh, man. I still have that field. That's the contract field. I still have to windrow it and tend it, I think. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so much work to do before the end of the day. Oh, but we got to get those crops harvested. I do not want those crops to go into next month. That's... Uh, I just do not want that at all. Here we go. Our uh, temporary storage solution here. Uh, again, I think that it's legal. I don't mind doing it. I don't like storing stuff here and then pulling it out and using it as a personal storage. But, oh, there's the train. There, there she goes. But I think storing it until we sell it on the train is uh, completely legal. If we don't end up doing it, which we will, I'll do the same thing as last time. Which was uh, I'll I'll pay the uh, the owner of the the train station here the manager of the train station here I'll pay him some cash uh, for the use of his silo, but uh, we're gonna sell it on the train 95% certain 95%. Let's uh let's look at this. Oh my gosh! Uh, right here, potatoes, 114,000. Let's wait till this finishes up. We got 122,000 potatoes, and I think those are all just the ones at the train station here. It doesn't include the ones over at the, over at the potato shed. Oh my gosh. So many, so many potatoes. All right, let's go. Speaking of the potato shed, let's go take a look at it. Here's the, all the grass. Uh, this is a second mowing amount of grass. <laughs> so we're going to get one more, one more mow job in here. And then I'm going to windrow it up and silage it up and send it over there to sit in the field until it's time to sell it in January. So here, here it is. Here's the beauty. Here is the potato shed. I used the front end loader. This is stuck. I don't know, I can't get this up. Um, maybe once all these potatoes are out, I can start scooping this way. I don't know. Uh, this is not a good solution for storing potatoes. I think what's gonna be good though, this will be a good solution, like one, one bay of potatoes to store for the pig feed and for seeding the next round. And we'll keep this full once we uh, once we harvest potatoes. Um, so yeah, there you go. It is what it is this year. We're gonna refine this process. Uh, once we get that potato refinery, we won't need all these potatoes in here. We'll just need enough to keep our pigs a quarter of the way fed. We, it's not even a full feed with the, the pigs. It's a mixture, so. I think that'll look really good once we have like one stall of potatoes in there and then we'll store our gear in there as well. So I think 
we're going to keep going with that. I am not real pleased with that solution, but that's kind of the way we're we're going at this point. We need to get we need to get harvesting though. I need to, to get these fields up so we can start prepping for uh, September. Oh my gosh, September already. Uh, yep. So let's get the let's bust out the harvester. Here we go into the sorghum field. Couple notes on this sorghum field. I actually, I think the the episode where we planted the sorghum field was uh, just released a couple days ago from uh, when I'm recording this, obviously. And I f I found out why it didn't get rolled is because we were doing something in this field, like weeding. I think is what ended up happening. We were we I weeded this field, and then there was some weeding contracts. So I went and did the contracts, and then I never never came back and rolled this field. So we have some lost yield on the sorghum field, including this disaster right here. The awfulness that was just rolling right into it with the trailer. So bad, so bad. So that's what happened with the sorghum. What we're going to do is harvest up this sorghum and the canola. And we're just going to put it in our silo over in the yard for now. That is my plan. What we can do then is there's so much room in there. It's 125 liters you can put in there total. And that way we have it there. If we need it, I can pull it out and put it into the Lavish Lewis Levigator. Uh, speaking of that, uh, yeah, let's, okay, so I did some math. I did some math. You go to the productions and we got bread is 2160 cycles per month. So I multiply 2160 times two for two flour. It takes two flour to do one bread times 12. And that came up to 50, well, we'll, we'll round it up to 52,000, 52,000 flour for a year for the, to, let's deactivate this, for the, uh, the bakery to continue for the whole year. So we're way more than a year's worth of flour in there already. And that's another reason why I'm putting the sorghum in the silo over there, if that makes any sense. At some point, we're going to have enough land. And speaking of which, we need to... I'm not doing it now. There's just way too much to do. <laughs> we need to do plans with our Eximilius. I got a lot on my mind going forward here. But at some point, when we get more land, then we will just start filling up the Lavish Lewis Levigator and maybe just selling the flour. And like I said, we do want to do the another a second bakery right over there. So that's kind of my plans with this field. And the canola I wanted to keep in the silo just because... We need some canola and sunflowers, which we have over there, for the pigs. So, also, if we want to just sell it, well, we want to wait to sell it when the, it's peak price as well. So, I'm just going to throw all this harvesting into the silo so that it's there when we need it and we can do what we need to do with uh, each different type of crop. I think what we're doing for this sorghum field, I'm not even going to trailer it. There's no sense in doing that. I'm just going to do it this way because it is just so much easier I don't have to worry about backing up the trailer to get it into the into the auger All right. is that going to be close enough uh, probably have to oh 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 hold it already right. okay there let's go right like that hop in this turn it on there we go it's all heading in there so you can see what we have in there. We we have up to 125,000 liters of everything in this hopper bin. So we're going to be nowhere near full once we get the canola and the sorghum in there, which is great. Uh, the uh, Speaking of backing up the trailers, you're not going to believe me, but when I was working on the, on the potatoes over there, which you saw a little video of it, I didn't record it because I'm like, this is going to take forever. And then I swear, I'm not lying, first try. First try, I'm like, of course, I didn't record it, right? Of course. So I'm learning. I'm learning. Here we are, the end of the sorghum harvest for the year. It was a bad one. The field wasn't rolled. Trampled the crops up there. It wasn't a good year for the sorghum, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go drop it off in the silo, see how much we have in there. Uh, this, We had some sorghum in there from before this harvest as well. While we're looking right here... I was just thinking, I'm getting close to plowing up this road between these two fields and make this one big field. 
I have to think on it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Yeah, let's turn that off. There we go. I don't think that I'm going to do it for this next for this uh, next year of crops, but probably the year after that. Like maybe like if we need one more field, I don't know. I got to think about it. We'll see. We'll see what I decide. What's going to happen? This racks plow up the field and make it one big field. Cuz it really doesn't matter. I mean, I do a variety of crops like the wheat and the oats. All right, let's turn around here. I turn this off. Is this no, not back in here. And here, please. Thank you. Turn that on. And why is this not working? More this way? There we go. Uh, I don't know. I love this is one thing I do love is the potato field that we're, we just got done harvesting up. That's going to be barley. And what I love doing to add to the silage is oh, hello play the game at all. I didn't want to get out of there, but let's do it. Get out of there. Perfect. Let's head over to the canola field. So what I love to do, I love the barley crop because a it's early in the year so I can get the get it into the levigator earlier than some of the other crops. And the other part that's really nice is that you can plant the grass in the field after you harvest it up in June and you still get two or three mowings out of it. Like that was our barley field. We're going to get I think we're going to get three mowings out of it. Speaking of which, oh my god, I got to roll those fields today too. I'm going to do the the roller because they grew faster when I did the the roller, the metal roller. <sighs> so that's uh, I got to do that today too before the end of the day. Like in game. <laughs> um So yeah, maybe we'll maybe I'll plow this middle part up and we'll make this one big field. I just got to think on it. That's all. Is there anything better than harvest season? It's just you get a fresh start. And you can reap all the little imperfections that are, were bugging me. They're gone now. They're gone. They haunt me for a little while just because sometimes, like, fertilizing gets messed up because of it or something like that. Like, uh, for the the stubble, maybe. I don't know if the, uh, the stubble will be able to get mulched or not, but I don't know. But it's nice to have a fresh start. Get a new plan for the new year. Get stuff in the ground. We'll put some oilseed radish in some of these fields for over the winter. Ah, I just love harvest season. Uh, one other thing too I wanted to bring up while we're harvesting and enjoying life. Right like that. There we go. There we go. That's a nice shot. Um, I, I was being silly. I, You guys don't care about this, but I do. When I was looking at the capacity... Uh, don't hit the pole, thank you. When I was looking at the capacity for the trailers, I was saying meters cubed I think and uh, yeah believe it or not I went to school and uh, it's cubic meters <laughs> am I just being silly about that I think I am maybe I am but uh, it's cubic meters not meters cubed for volume it's cubic meters so there you go there's your math lesson for the day uh, by the person that's not hasn't done math in a long time uh, so there you go all right let's finish up uh, canola field and then, uh, I just got to keep cranking out stuff Dur during this day. I can't get out those contracts done yet because I want to make sure I have enough time in the day to get things rolled and get things. Uh, there's one more thing I need to do. Let me think about it. Oh, the other thing I have to do for sure, which I don't have to do it today, is plow the big field, which that's going to take a while. I'll do that on my own, of course. Uh, I don't mind doing it, but... There's something that we do have to get done today if we so choose. Do we want to do canola again? <laughs> if we want to do canola again, I need to put it in today because I don't like to wait that month. That's what happened. For the, everything happened in August because canola was, I put in a month late last time. So I want to spread it out and get the canola in this month. Make sure <laughs> that I can get it up and spread everything out. I don't know. I'm just going to drive the... I'm just gonna drive it over there again. I think that's the best course of action. It's just easier to get it in there. Don't have to back up the dolly trailer. Well, we're on our way over there real quick. There is not too much going on in used gear stuff. Uh, we have had pretty good luck. I'm not upset with used gear at all. We have had some really, really good luck lately. 
Let's line this up a little bit better than the last time. I think right there, maybe. There it goes. Now we're going to have three different crop types in our silo. It's okay. It looks like one big bin, but we're just going to... We're going to let it go for this <laughs> for a while. We'll get separate bins at some point for all the different crops. All right, the decision's been made. I'm going to replant canola in this field. I'll do that between episodes. And between episodes, I'm also going to roll the two grass fields we have. That one over there and that one behind us. Get those rolled up. Those have to be done on August 2nd. All that work has to be done on August 2nd. So I'm going to get that done between episodes and uh, record little clips of it to throw it in the next episode. Uh, and then uh, I think what we're going to do is in the uh, the sorghum field there, we're just going to, I'm going to put some oilseed radish in it for to cover it for the winter. And like I said, barley's going in the field over there. So we're going to, uh, when do we, when do we plant barley? That's got to be soon too, right? Next month. So next episode, we'll be planting barley in that big old field. I will, oh, depending on how much time I have, I might wait. I'm going to wait to plow it and we'll, I kind of plow some of it together in the next episode. Uh, it seems like that's just maybe a little different process, and that seems like something that'd be good to be in the episode. We're not going to spend all episode plowing, of course, um, but I think that should be definitely be part of an episode. So that's kind of the plan going forward. But first, we got to finish up all this canola. There we go. We're finishing up the canola. We're almost there. Uh, one thing that I am also going to do between episodes is contracts i gotta finish all those up hopefully we'll get some more beginning in september so honestly you might see me september 1st yeah except, excuse me september 2nd depending on how everything times out i'm gonna be on the road so it's a good time to get stuff done of course when i'm on the road you might see me september 2nd but i'm not gonna do anything to these fields other than what i've told you we'll get the canola in in uh, the canola field, then we'll get some oilseed radish in this one. Uh, I'll wait to plow the field, and uh, I'm going to roll those fields there. But that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. Oh, the poor horses! The horses have been neglected. The horses have been neglected. So if you look here, I don't think that I ran them on August first or second. I might try to get them done today. Uh, we'll see how much time I have once I get everything done. I want to get done for this day. So you can see the cleanliness and the fitness is down just a little bit. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Just too much going on. Too much going on. The one thing I found interesting is the the auger is off. I have not turned it on again. I think it just automatically does this. I say that, and now it's not going to work. There we go. It's going in. And if you look up top, it's going. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. It's going in. I have not turned the auger on, so that is nice. No, you don't have to turn the auger on in order to get it working. So there you go. You learned something new today. Let's turn the harvester off. Take a peek in here. We've got 11,000 canola, which uh, that's the, the harvest this year was 11,000. Sorghum, we already had some in there. And barley, we got a good amount in there too. Things are looking great. Things are looking great. Uh, sorry, horses. We'll get to you as soon as I can. I just got too much work to do around the farm. Uh, so that's going to do it for today. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next episode.